Hi everyone, I'm DJ and I'm with the Shell STEM program powered by NEWS. Today, I'm going to talk to you all about something called a solar tower. Fire the solar beam! <laughs> now, as the name implies, a solar tower is a structure, it's a building, and it's a solar thermal capture device which is able to capture the thermal energy from the sun and convert that energy to some useful form of energy, most likely electrical energy. Now, there are different types of solar towers. There's the solar updraft tower, which is what we're going to construct today. And then there's the concentrated solar tower or solar power tower. Now, these are the ones that are most frequently used to generate electricity in the real world. All solar towers work on three principles, the greenhouse effect, solar collectors, and pressure difference within the tower. Solar power towers, which are used to generate electricity in the real world, are usually filled with a liquid. Could be water, maybe a salt solution. And these liquids are pumped to the top of the tower where they are heated, and then the hot liquid is pumped back to the base of the tower where the steam generated from the hot liquid is used to turn a turbine. And these turbines are what generate the electricity. Now at the base of these solar power towers, they are fitted with something called a heliostat. A heliostat is basically a mirror that reflects the sunlight towards the tower. And what this does, it ensures that throughout the day, the maximum sunlight is being reflected towards the tower to heat up the tower. So the tower we're building today is a solar updraft tower. Now all of these towers are not usually used to generate electricity by constructing this tower. It will help you understand how all solar towers work. So now I'm going to show you how to construct your solar updraft tower. To do this, you're going to need the following items. Three tin cans, tape, preferably electrical tape, two large paper clips, a glue stick, a sheet of paper, a scissors, a thumbtack, and some books to place your tower on once it's completely constructed. To begin, we're going to stick our cans together using our cans and our electrical tape to build the tower. Once you have taped your cans together, you want to make sure that there are no openings at the connection points. So ensure that it's entirely sealed off. The next thing we want to do is you need to make our pinwheel. To do this, we need a sheet of paper and we need to make our paper into the shape of a square. A square that will be big enough to cover the top of our tower, but not too big. So once you have your square, you want to fold it along the diagonal once and then you're going to fold it a second time. You're going to open up your square and now you're going to see the lines. Using your scissors, you're going to cut along the lines but you're not going to cut all the way to the center of the square. Once you've made your cuts, you're going to fold towards the center of your square. First fold. Second fold. And then you continue. So this is what it should look like. You're going to take your glue stick and you're going to stick at the center of your pinwheel. Boom! Next, we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to open it out. And we're going to attach this to the top of our tower. Next, you're going to take your thumbtack 
and place it at the center of your pinwheel and that will be your axis of rotation. And then you're going to attach your pinwheel to the top of your tower. Once you made your pinwheel, you use your thumb tack and you stick it to the top of your pinwheel using some tape. So our final step, we're going to place our tower on top of two stacks of books. So this is what our completed tower looks like. Now you're going to place this next to a window on a bright sunny day. And what's going to happen is as the sunlight enters the window, it's going to hit the towers. When that happens, it's going to heat up the air inside of the tower and this creates a pressure difference due to the generation of convection currents within the tower. And that pressure difference is going to drive the air from the base of the tower to the top of the tower and it's going to turn the pinwheel. The pinwheel represents the generator in the real world. So in the real world, in this device, as the air moves upward, it's going to turn the generator and we know that as the generator turns, we have electricity being produced. So when you're doing this experiment, it's important that you leave this indoors. We don't want to put it outside because the breeze blowing is actually going to turn our pinwheel and that's not the effect that we want. We want the pinwheel to turn due to the convection currents flowing within the tower. So leave this inside but next to a window where it can get direct sunlight to heat up the tower. So now that you have seen how to construct your solar updraft tower, I have a few questions for you. Are there any ways you think you can make your tower better? Are there any other materials you think you can use to build your tower? Maybe you can use bristol board. Well, what would be the best color bristol board to use? Think about it. Also, why do you think we don't just place our tower directly on the table? Why was it important to stack it on top two books? Thanks for viewing and thank you for joining our Shell STEM program powered by Needles. Now we'd love to get your feedback guys, so we've attached a short survey, yeah, short survey in the description box below to get your feedback. We've also made online courses available on the Ministry of Education's website at learn.moe.gov.tt. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos because they're going to be coming. And stay connected to us on our social media profiles at Instagram and Facebook at Nihist.